Uh, yeah. I don't know really how the delay uh, has uh, been uh, caused, but um, anyway, excuse from my side too. Um, everything, probably that's the reason for it, uh, was done uh, in a short period of, uh, I think the first call came in last uh, Sunday, flying over then on Monday, having some um, time to spend with the responsibilities, with the authorities of the club uh, to find out uh, what's happening over there, what's uh, the plan, what's the expectation and of course then in the next moment uh, to have a look at the facilities, to have a look at the uh, team, to have a look at the uh, potential um, yeah, performance level, um, what is happening here. That was all done in the last uh, four days, uh, uh, quite a busy time. Um, I think it's very, very crucial uh, to mention it uh, from my side and that gave me a little bit of an indicator that uh, it could be an interesting uh, project, an interesting uh, club um, to be busy with it uh, when I heard that uh, Hans van der Plum was the head coach uh, here uh, in the past season and achieved uh, the qualification for the international business and of course in the league position number four. I know Hans from uh, my time in Ghana. He was coaching uh, Boise Goldfields, a farm club of uh, Ajax uh, Amsterdam. At the same time when I was coaching Asante Kotoko for around the three years, uh, respecting uh, each other and uh, knowing exactly uh, what is the capacity and what is the um, possibility of coaching, uh, art of coaching, we have seen uh, on the Uboasi Goldfield side. Uh, therefore, I think um, from my side it was an indicator knowing that there has been done a fantastic work so far here inside the club, probably laid a good foundation where we can continue. That is, uh, I think, first of all, very important uh, from my side to mention it. Um, yeah, um, I can't um, put too much into uh, the possibility or the, the planning or uh, what we can expect. Uh, I know only that uh, the club has huge expectations. Um, um, I can't comment about it. I think uh, you will understand. I saw one game, uh, now the 0-0 yesterday. Um, I think some stuff can be done better. Um, I haven't seen uh, a number of players uh, inside the squad of 32 players. 14-15 uh, were not used uh, but uh, contracted to the team. I think there is a new player coming in. Uh, in terms of the forward position, um, yeah, we have a number of days time uh, to prepare for the next um, big challenge uh, on the international level before going back uh, to the league. Um, both results, of course, uh, was not satisfying uh, the club uh, authorities, I'm quite sure. Both games in the league 0-0 is definitely not uh, what should be the standard at home uh, of a club like uh, Singida Foundation Gate uh, Football Club. Uh, I'm aware about it. Um, yeah, good. Basically, I'm not really afraid about uh, expectations, afraid about uh, to fulfill and to take uh, certain moments, certain situation and uh, try to uh, find out what has to be done. I'm not sure uh, if it is in the moment the right set up um, uh, for the team, for the players, a lot of new players, uh, obviously what we have seen on the field yesterday. Uh, I think some players, uh, I could see uh, they are not performing in a way as they probably can, uh, as the abilities or the skill set uh, of some players are there. I have seen some uh, players with huge potential, there's no doubt about it, uh, definitely. Um, so now it's up to us, up to me, uh, to find a way um, yeah, to put it together into the right uh, setup, uh, formation, system, uh, idea of play. Um, that is definitely something uh, what uh, will be better assessed from my side if I have the training session of 10 days or 14 days before we go into the next. I believe there will be some different approach, uh, probably use some players in a different way. Um, I have some ideas what I saw 
uh, over there yesterday. I can't mention the names. Uh, I'm working in the moment with the numbers. Uh, 23 or 21 or 11 or uh, 14 coming in or Bruno number 8 and 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 uh, that's, that's uh, uh, without mentioning the names. Uh, I think it's understandable uh, only see them once not having been busy with uh, the training sessions but um, it's quite an exciting project uh, not only to be involved in the national uh, league also in the international uh, business and hopefully we can jump uh, into the next round uh, make it happen as it's definitely some of our first target uh, to find it in the right way to approach the team um, I mentioned already the, the work from uh, Hans uh, was definitely um, the beginning uh, of his uh, last appointment, uh, the results were fantastic, there's no doubt about it, uh, I'm aware about it. But uh, in my basic philosophy is a little bit like uh, regarding coaching or regarding player performance, what we are expecting. I said, you, you have to, if you want to improve, if you want to challenge yourself, you have to, to start every day with a so-called zero point. Don't be proud of it, what you achieved yesterday, or think about now the next uh, uh, number of years or days or weeks or months. Uh, I have been in position four, I have been qualified for whatever, and now that's the end of the, of the day. I think actually, uh, if you have these uh, thoughts in your mind, and you want to uh, be uh, a professional, uh, then you are not on the right place. I think take it as a zero point, let's start with it. Uh, nobody's asking uh, what happened uh, in the last year, what happened, whatever. We have to perform with the status we have today, with the resources we have today, with the club's landscape where we are in today, with the number of sponsors uh, probably coming on board, with the number of new players coming in. And this is uh, something, uh, when you're in this uh, professional business where I'm in uh, nearly 30 years on the professional level in different continents, uh, yeah, then, then, then you know it. Uh, uh, but uh, we have to find um, a way that each and everybody is, is uh, pulling into the same direction. I think that's very crucial and that's definitely something where we have to start with it, uh, to, to, to uh, create a little bit more energy, to create a little bit more uh, or less tension. Uh, what I've seen in the game yesterday, I think expectations are there and, and players are, are not free, are not really in a way how they probably will be able to do so. Uh, let's wait and see what we can do, but uh, it's not about uh, being afraid we have to, to look forward in a way uh, that we want to achieve something. And uh, there are targets, there are expectations, and that is what we have to accept. I told you already, not too much. Uh, this, is, this is definitely something uh, on one side you can say, uh, okay, uh, but we have only 14 days time. That's one, one uh, vision you can put in place. The second one is, and I think it's much, much more interesting for each and everybody, uh, because now each and everybody in the squad of 32 players, in the squad of uh, how uh, a player X or Y or, or whatever you want to call them, uh, there is a new chance, there is an approach, there is a show me, there is an approach in this moment. I have ideas, I have ideas in terms of the way to play. Uh, is it a bit more uh, attacking? Is it a bit more high pressing? Is it a bit more uh, reserved? Is it a bit more transition games? Uh, we have to find out, but uh, I actually uh, be very open to each and everybody's skill set of the players and I think that's more important to be first of all busy with your, with your own view, with the players you have, with the players uh, are available and uh, what are they capable of uh, being able to deliver, that's the most important stuff and I think that's uh, uh, the different uh, view uh, probably it should be to the advantage of each and every player and I think uh, a fresh wind uh, is sometimes probably not only the worst uh, one, it can be very helpful for each and everybody. On the other side uh, there are definitely um, members of the technical team or members of uh, the uh, Singida football uh, club um, they will give us a certain view, they will give us a certain indication and uh, we are coming from there. I think it's, uh, and I say it uh, several times, uh, being a football coach, being in charge for the team is not a one-man show. You, you need uh, experts, you need certain knowledge uh, from different uh, angles in terms of conditioning, in terms of analyzing, in terms of the tactical, what is uh, 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 the best for the team, for the players, for the assembled one. Uh, so, And uh, we will definitely be very busy to know exactly as much as possible in a short time. Why should I approach uh, this uh, view in such a way, working, start working with the team? Why I should do this? I think there have been uh, 
authorities and uh, knowledgeable people, uh, scouts or knowledge, uh, knowledgeable uh, authorities uh, inside the club to bring players together uh, where they think, uh, uh, considering certain uh, indicators, uh, what can help the team, what will make the team better. Uh, so that's my approach in this moment, not, not going there, oh, uh, and cry already and look for excuses up front already. I think that's, that's not the way how you should uh, start uh, working with the team. Yeah, and assist us to respond, but I'll finish it. For since 2009, you have not uh, stayed in one team for quite a long time. Mm. So he's worried that. Uh, how do you find that? 2009. 20? I will give you I will give you some examples why in the world of soccer uh, sometimes it's difficult to stay long. I will give you some examples. I went to St. George, um, was absolutely prepared. I was really pleased uh, with the work. It was around uh, in the end seven weeks. So now I'm asking you, what are you doing? Uh, if you go to Addis Ababa and you go into the training camp, it was 60 kilometers outside of Addis Ababa, and uh, to a certain extension, you wake up every morning at 4 o'clock uh, because uh, uh, jets uh, from the army uh, starting uh, and pushing uh, to the war zone into the north, uh, that day by day. Uh, then you go into Addis Ababa, there are more uh, soldiers than policemen. Uh, at a certain time, I said, listen, what are we doing here? And I got uh, over weeks, got told, uh, no, it's not a problem. We will, we will sort it out. It will come. For me, a very clear decision uh, was done uh, to make it uh, very clear. I said, okay, guys, uh, yeah, here's your money back. Uh, all good. Uh, uh, this is not the world that I want to train with a helmet. Uh, then I went, uh, for example, in another 2013-14, I was uh, brought into Bloemfontein Celtic uh, from the owners over there. They paid even uh, a huge amount of money on transfer uh, for me, bringing me from the other club uh, in October 2013. Uh, they were on position 15, we ended up on position 5. Uh, top eight uh, was fantastic. Uh, we started then in this moment a new season, uh, preparing. We had our top eight game, the first game against Bidvest. Uh, a day before, the two owners, uh, Aiki and Augusti, uh, phoned me and called me in and say, "Okay, uh, coach." Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank, you. thank you. I keep it. Yeah. Put the sponsors on. Now. Don't forget, make uh, good pictures. <laughs> okay. You check hand also. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank good. you.